Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to our channel again. I'm Eduardo Gulpan and in today's video guys, I'm going to show you on how to highlight the specific rows in the continuous form of Microsoft Access. And to give you an idea, let me show you this sample. Okay, this is my sample um, database. Let us log in. The password is 123. And here we go. And let us go to customer. So... This one, guys, sample customer A, and it automatically highlights. And also, if we click this one, so it will highlight also. Okay. And for example, let us search this one C0013. Search. Okay. Clear. So, if you are still interested, guys, please watch this video until the end and please subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. So, now let us start, guys. As you can see, there is no color. It's totally blank for the color. So, let's go to the design view. And then, let us hide that. And let us add a new text box. By the way, the value of this text box must be the same with the value of this customer ID. If we click the customer ID, the value of this should be reflected in this um, text box. As well as this one, guys. If we click customer name, contact person, contact number, email, and contact address, the value of this customer ID will reflect in this um, text box. So let us rename this as cost id and also this one cost id so let us start putting the code click this and then go to event and by the way guys we can use the on click event and also we can use on got focus either the two of uh, this choices but i prefer to use the on got focus because the on click event will not work in the combo box so click the three dots and then go to code builder and okay i will delete okay then let's type this me that cost id so the this is the text box that we have added is equals to me that customer id so let's say okay if we click number two or number three okay number three number seven number seven number eleven number eleven and we have to um, add those code in this uh, the rest of this field if we click customer name still um, the specific customer id will be reflected in this text box but no need to uh, type guys because we can just copy this copy and then this one three dots okay then let's type call let's call that function okay sorry and then let's copy then this one Play that's also code builder. Copy paste this one. Code builder. Copy paste. And we'll do this to the rest of the um, text box. And last. Okay. And close. It's automatic save. Now let us try to click. If we click here, 9 because we click the number 9. How about this one? 15. How about this one? Okay. So now, guys, let us add the uh, coloring of this row. So, design view again. Then let us add a text box, this one, the field. Let us drag and delete. Sorry. Then the size, I'll make it 1 so that we cannot see. And then the color will be white. 
and I will put it here. By the way, the, um, the, um, the border style, I mean, border style should be transparent. Then I'll put it here. Okay. And send to back. Okay. And then I will use the conditional formatting at this time. So click format, then go to conditional formatting, and then new role. Click this um, expression. So, then three dots to type our expression. Cost ID. I mean this one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Cost customer ID is equals to cost. Okay, this one. Then click OK. Apply the color. Sorry, this one. The color will be this one, and then OK, apply, and let's try. So, OK, it will highlight, and but as you observe, guys, this is color white. So, what we will do is to include that um, issue in our conditional formatting. So, highlight all. And then, okay, and select the lines. And then let's go to format again. And in conditional formatting, at this time, guys, we will select this field has focus, not an expression. And then, same color, okay, apply. And let's see. Okay, no more white color. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and then to avoid clicking the uh, the file that we have added so we will set the enable to no and then also lock yes let's try okay okay it's really working how about C008 search okay and let us clear okay that's it and then we will hide this we can hide by putting it or setting it to no in the visible property let's do this again okay so that's all guys i hope this video helps you a lot and if you like this video please click like and guys if you are new to this channel and wants to learn more about, about microsoft access then guys you are in the right channel please subscribe in this channel and please click the bell button so that you will be notified in our upcoming videos that's all guys thank you and see you to my next video